Hi there, welcome to Loud to Code. My name is Nawaz, and in this video, I am going to talk about one of the problems which is repeatedly asked in interviews that is, valid parenthesis. I am going to solve this problem in Lead Code. Lead Code is one of the websites where you can learn and practice. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. I will be showing you these kinds of sites and I will be also solve problems which will be helpful for you to face in interviews. So before getting started, let us see the problem statement. So the given problem statement is given a string containing the characters is, which is shown on the screen. So we have to determine if the input string is valid or not. So an input string is valid if it satisfies this both conditions that is open brackets must be closed by the same type of a brackets open brackets must be closed in correct order. Whenever you are solving any problem if they give you any note it is very important to take care of that. So they have given a note telling that an empty string is also considered as a valid. So if in this problem if there is any empty string that means it is invalid so we have to also handle this case while solving this problem let me show you a few examples given by lead code for this particular problem so here you can see lead code has given us four examples that is first example it has a opening bracket and closing bracket so it is true second example is it has a opening and closing brackets in proper order so it is true third example is there are different brackets and there is no proper order so it is false and fourth example is also they are have a proper brackets but they are not in a proper order so it is false fifth example you can see it is true so let us uh, handle this note condition note condition that is if the string is empty then we have to return true that is it is valid condition so if s dot is empty empty then we have to return true that means that means we are telling that it is a valid parenthesis so in order to check this this statement i will be using a test case feature from lead code so i have given an empty string and i will run this code and check whether that note condition is satisfied or not so yes it is accepted that means for an input empty string it returns true and expected is also true so my approach to solve this problem will be like i will be using a stack so whenever i encounter an opening bracket i will push into a stack and whenever i will encounter a closing bracket i will pop out from the stack and check whether the opening bracket is same as a closing bracket so if it is true i will continue to evaluate all the bracket parenthesis in a string and at the end of uh, processing all the parenthesis in a string i will check whether the stack is empty or not if the stack is empty that means it is valid if the stack is not empty that means it is not a valid parenthesis also whenever i pop out and the closing bracket should be same type of a opening bracket so that will be a valid if it is not then it is a not invalid i will write the code and i will explain you so let me pause this video and write the code and explain you later so i am done with the code let me explain you the code line by line so here i have initialized a stack that will accept the characters and i have converted a given string into a character array and then i am going to press all the characters in a for loop so whenever i found a, a opening bracket or a parenthesis i will pushing inside a stack and whenever i find a closing parenthesis i will check whether the stack is empty if the stack is empty i will return false since it, it will be an invalid parenthesis for this closing bracket so if the stack is not empty i will be popping out from the stack and that should be a closing bracket of same type so if it is this condition satisfies so we will be processing for all the characters in present in the array that is given string and finally what we will be doing is we will be checking whether stack is empty or not 
after processing all the inputs if it is valid we will be popping out all the closing brackets so our stack will be empty so if our stack is empty that means we have processed all the brackets opening and closing brackets so it is a valid parenthesis suppose the stack is not empty that means it is not a valid parenthesis we can also test this using uh, test cases so let me submit this code and see whether it will be accepted or not previously i tried and i got one wrong answer so a few minutes ago i tried with another answer and i got a proper solution so here we can see that in detail lead code explains us uh, what is the time taken by this code to execute and from all the online submissions how much faster it is so how much memory it has used so, so here is an another solution in this solution i have used an hash map which will store as opening and closing parenthesis the closing parenthesis will be the key and the opening parenthesis will be the value so whenever i encounter a opening parenthesis i will be pushing it inside a stack whenever i encounter a closing parenthesis that is a keys present in this hash map i will be checking whether the stack is empty or not if the stack is empty i will be returning false so uh, if the stack is not empty i will pop out the element and i will get the value that is closing bracket from the hash map and i will check whether this is equal or not if it is not equal then i will return false finally after processing all the strings in a parenthesis in a string i will be checking whether the stack is empty or not and i will return the value this is another solution so lead code also gives us many solution and it also has a description you can go through this and understand how to solve this problem in a proper way so thanks for watching this video please like subscribe and share thank you all